How's everyone doing? I'm doing great. It's Teddy Irvin, Team TJ, and welcome back to Subnautica! Mmm, yes, it is good to be back in the world of Subnautica. So last episode, we created this, which is the alien containment thingy. So we got a bunch of little tiny fish in here. We got a peeper, we got an oculus, we got a boomerang fish, and a whole fish. So I'm gonna go in here because I can actually... I think I can plant, yes I can plant a little baby creep vine in here. That is awesome. But I can also, I gathered up all the creature eggs I had, so I'm gonna drop all of the creature eggs I have had throughout this entire time and just kind of see what happens. You know, just kind of have them sit in here and see what happens. So I'm really hoping that they hatch into something glorious. Something else I realized was these two. We got a fluid analyzer and a sample analyzer. Now these I thought were odd. I'm gonna make a wall shelf in here just because I'm not sure if I think I can place them down actually. So yes I can, I think. Yes I can. Okay, so if I put that there and that there. So, can I repair them? I have a feeling like I could. No? Um, what do I do with these things? I want to know what I can do with them. They're clearly somehow important because I found them. Hold on, let me look it up quickly. Well, guess what? Apparently these things actually should serve no purpose. They're lab equipment, but they actually are just for decoration. So, uh, there's that. Oh, I can't wait for those to hatch. I hope they hatch by the end of this episode. But another thing we added was this. This is the, uh, I forget what this is called again. The vehicle upgrade console. This is one of the most important objects in all of Subnautica. We finally have it. Took all this time to finally get it. I think we got it last episode. But this is how we upgrade our vehicles and stuff. So we need to like make modules and things. So what I want to do first is make a uh, some, yeah, a Seamoth Depth Module, that would be spectacular. And I also want to make this the Prawn Suit Grappling Arm. That's also going to be really cool as well. But I think the Seamoth Depth Module, I need two glass and a titanium ingot. I don't think that's too hard, right? Ten titanium, alright, not bad, I just need to grab some stuff. And the glass is just two quartz. I already have one on me, so there's that. I saw that the grappling arm needed this, um, blood oil three. Do we, how much blood oil do we have? Do we even have any? I have a feeling like we grabbed some while we were over there. We got three. We got three blood oil. Nice, so we can actually make that. What else do we need for the grappling arm? Lithium, we got that. Advanced wiring kit and five titanium. The titanium is, again, not hard. Advanced wiring kit, two gold and a computer chip, and two silver. That's not bad, actually. We got we got plenty of silver. We got gold. Um, I already got lithium on me, so I don't need that. Um, and to make a computer chip, I just need another gold, copper wire, and table coral samples, and copper wire is just two copper. All right, well, we can already make the, the wiring kit. All right, so there's that. This is going to be the point of the episode. I also am going to make this as well, so we can get that going too. Alright, and uh, I think that frees up a little space, yeah, because they are smaller. Good, good. Anyway, I need my sea moth. Where did I put my sea moth? Sea moth? Well, I mean, I got my prawn suit. Where's my sea moth? Oh, there's my sea moth. Or TJ Jr. as I named it. Such a creative name. Oh, it feels so good to be back in the realm of Subnautica. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Okay, so I need some uh, metal salvage. That's pretty common, but we grabbed a quite a bit of it around here, so I might need to go to a place we haven't gone to too often in order to actually find some more. There's some metal salvage right there. All right, got some of that. So that's already quite a bit of titanium because I'm pretty sure, um, actually how much titanium do we get from one metal salvage, I forget. Might be, might be safe just to grab two, just, you know, just to be safe. I also just grabbed some quartz as well, so we got 
We got plenty of stuff. I also got the extra silver. Have we been over here before? Uh, yes we have. This is my fragment Oh, yes, we have been here before, yeah. Okay, there's some other- so there's some more metal salvage here. I'll grab that. I'll also see what's in here. Lead, always handy. Oh, bone sharks! Uh-huh, uh. Um, I think this is their biome, isn't it? This is the land of the- of the bone sharks, isn't it? This is where they live. This is where they exist. And I'm, I am the one trespassing in their territory, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna go. Are you still following me? No, it looks like he's going back. Okay, that's a good sign, because I want to grab some of this. Um, gold, we need gold. Titanium, please be copper. Yes, we got copper, nice. Okay, we need, I think, a little extra copper. We need a some lot of copper for things, and the problem is it's not as common as you probably think it is. Okay, we just got another copper right then, so I guess it is somewhat common. So, I think we got a lot of stuff that we need. Don't we? I don't think there's too much left. Man, this is actually gonna be a slight quick a slightly quick adventure, because I don't think there was too much left to get. I honestly don't even think there is much left to get at all, so I think we just need to get back home and be we're ready. That's that's actually quick, and uh, then I might have to think of another thing to do. That is if this is actually as quick as I have thought it will be. Okay, so I think I think we got what we need, so I'm gonna go over to here, and we're gonna... We're going to make all the titanium we need. I think that we have more than enough titanium now. Maybe? Okay, we need the glass as well. Oh, we need one more titanium in order to actually get all of, uh, of the titanium that we need for the titanium ingot. Okay, we need one more titanium. One outcropping should be enough for that. I can actually just swim there, even without my sea glide. New creature discovered. I just grabbed a hoverfish. That thing's cute, and I want to put it in my habitat. Um, one titanium. Oh no, not one of those exploding things! No! Dang it! Oh, I hate those exploding things. Oh, they're worse than creepers from Minecraft. Okay, back into the habitat we go, and then we should be able to make the titanium ingot. Now I have one last titanium. And there we go, titanium ingot. There we go. Now we can. We also need the copper wire as well. Alright, we need table coral, so I need to go grab some table coral. I think, yeah, there's plenty of it over here. I'll just grab these two. Now, I think we are set. So, computer chip, and then, no, uh, we need another piece of gold! Well, at the very least, I can deposit my, uh, my hoverfish in here, and he looks adorable in here, along with everything else. Let's hope the other, the eggs will hatch. Okay, so I'm trying to find some sandstone chunks, because that's what I know gold is in. So we're gonna head off in the direction I see them in, and we should be able to get all of it that we need. So there's two in there, there's one over there too, but there's two over in this direction. I don't think too far, there's another one over there. Alright, yeah, this, uh, this thing is like super good, I absolutely love this scanner thing, and uh, oh, they're underground. There's some over here, so I don't think that's as bad. This is a bit easier. Yeah, this is a bit easier. They're on and kind of in the open. All right. So sandstone chunk, please be gold. No, you're silver, but that's still good. Okay, there's another one over here. Please be gold. Gold luck. Ow. Lead. I mean, again, it's not bad, but I wish it was gold. And there's some kind of underground a bit. 
Okay, maybe I should try going for one of those. This one doesn't look like it's too far from where we are. Yeah, okay. No, okay. Okay, it's gold, it's gold. Let's get out here before that thing comes over here to explode me. Okay, we're in the clear, and we got the gold that we need. Now we should be able to make the stuff. Okay, now we can make the advanced wiring kit. Awesome. Now I think that's everything that we need, or am I missing something again? I need five more titanium, I also need one more glass as well for the other thing. Okay, back up there. Okay, so there's quartz kind of out there on the edge. And maybe I'll find metal salvage on the way out there as well. Here we go again! Off we go! I just noticed my needs. I, I really need to pay better attention to my needs. Okay, quartz there. Now we just need one more and we got, I think, everything that we need. Yeah, okay, now we can make another glass. We also need another metal salvage as well. I'm thinking there's probably a little over here, a little extra over here probably, somewhere. Yes? Yes, okay, metal salvage. What am I doing? Okay, oh, stop attacking my ship. We're gone. See, so hi, hi, reef back, hi. Okay, we're going back home, it's that way. And then I'm also repairing my submarine. Man, even just the mundane tasks of Subnautica are amazing, just because of how beautiful this game is. Honestly, this game is just gorgeous. Do you guys actually know that Subnautica has won the best computer game of the year award? It's true! I cannot believe it! Because it's just like, out of all the games, it was Subnautica that won, and that's just amazing! It's one of my favorite games, and it won! Alright, now we got everything that we need, except water, but that's not a bad thing. And uh, I think the eggs hatched as well. Two of them did! It's a little baby, uh, explodey thing, and, uh, and it's a rabbit ray as well. Oh, what about the other two? Are they gonna hatch? Maybe I need to expand the tank. I am sacrificing- I'll sacrifice my bedroom if it means I get even- If I- if it means they get the hatch too. I'll sacrifice my bedroom. I'll move it up a level. Honestly, I don't think that would be that difficult anyway. So, uh, I could probably do it. I might want some reinforcement. Now we should be able to make the upgrades that I am looking for, so... Yes, we can. We can make the Seamoth Depth Module. That is an important upgrade. We can also make the Prawn Suit Grappling Arm. That is something I really wanted. Okay. Yes! Now, access upgrades. So we can put in the Seamoth Depth Module upgrade. Now it goes down 300 meters. Oh, yes! So, I'm now going to uh, grab the... the... Uh, the Firefox. The prawn... or the prawn suit and put the grappling oh, arm in this. And then I'm gonna test out the grappling arm, obviously, because, you know, it, it's a freaking grappling arm. How do I access its upgrades? I have no idea. Okay, access upgrades, I actually do it out here. Okay, let's put the grappling arm, um, which one should we do it as? I think I'll do it this one. There it is, the grappling arm. Okay, now let's try this. So that's just the grabby thing, so... Okay, I'm not sure exactly how this works, so... Oh! Oh, that is cool. Okay, I need to click and hold it, I see. How far does it go? Oh, it goes really far! And pulls you really hard. Wow. This is gonna be good for traveling with this thing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is a good, this is a good development. Now I'm going to uh, pull out my grav trap because I need water and uh, this is the best solution to get bladder fish. Can I grab onto my cyclops? Oh my gosh, I can. Whoa, whoa, that's like a swing. Oh, I'm Spider-Man. I'm Spider-Man if he was in a mech suit. Okay, we're gonna dock this thing, and yeah, alright. 
We got a grappling arm. And I'm also going to be very thirsty soon. Okay. We got we got fluid back and I'm also going to grab some lantern fruit to, because to eat as well. As it also helps with my hydration as well. So that's that's good. Food is at 100%. Excellent. Now I think it's time to move the bedroom because I want to be able to have my uh, my uh, a bigger tank. I think I'm okay with deconstructing this for now. Okay, I want that and that first. Then I can deconstruct that. I'm gonna want that and then I can de deconstruct this. Okay, and do I deconstruct the windows? I don't really want to get rid of the windows because I think they work for that room. Okay, I'm looking for metal salvage because I know I'm gonna need a lot of titanium for this. Okay, there's some metal salvage. Inventory full? No! Well, crap. Um, well, at least I know I can see all the metal salvage is around so I can grab it. I'm gonna put all the lead in there because you don't really need the lead immediately or the silver. And I think my other two eggs have hatched as well. <gasps> It's a gasopod and a, uh, what, what's the other one? A bone shark. It's so, there's, so, it's so cute. And it's, well, kind of ugly, but also kind of cute at the same time. Oh, wow. And what do, I, what do I do about the egg fragments? What do I, what do, I do about this? Um, are they just gonna kind of sit there forever? We also got our creep vine is here as well. It's growing. Look at all of my little creatures, just... I think they all, they're all flying around me as well, I think they like me. Man, I, that's why I want to expand that, so they actually have a bit more space and room to call home. You know, why don't I grab the TJ Jr.? Why do I just, why am I always going out to swim and all these and things? Also, I need to repair this as well. Okay, it's all 100% fixed as well, so let's grab the metal salvage, and I'll cut back once I've grabbed it all. That is, unless something else interesting happens. Okay, I think we've got plenty of titanium to be able to make some reinforcement. I'll put it there. I have increased my hull strength. Now, I can also make a multi-purpose room. Now, I'm trying to think, where do I want this multi-purpose room to be exactly? Let me deconstruct this solar panel real quick, and I'll reconstruct it over here. Now we can put another multi-purpose room on top of our base here. So we're basically making our base even bigger. Okay, maybe just get rid of one window. One window for now. And put it, um, which direction do I like better? Um, this kind of has creep vine. 30 seconds. Oh, oh no, I forgot my my air, my air, my air, my air, my air. For now, I think I'll put the last, the one window I'm moving up there, basically even with where it used to be. So that works for now, so off to get more metal salvage. So much metal salvage, so much. We can carry exactly one more piece of metal salvage, so... Yeah, why not? Let's just go and get the one that's all the way down here, just kind of out of, out of just the one real out of the way. What is this? What is this? A bioreactor fragment. We already have a bioreactor fragment. Okay, what is attacking me? It's that thing. What are you? Have I scanned you before? Uh, I don't know what you are, but you're evil. I think we scan. The bus of. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we got, we got a bit caught there for a second. Okay, back home. Lots of sea moth fragments over here. Man, I could have gotten the sea moth blueprints done so much quicker than I actually did. Why did I just get out of my ship? You can make so much titanium, it is unbelievable. Okay, so now I am up on the third floor, pretty much. Now I'm going to recreate my bedroom as best as I can. Okay, so we can actually put the bed in the corner. I didn't even realize we could, so I'm gonna do that. That's a bit easier. Okay, so miniature Aurora gets to go there just like it did before. 
the blue baseball cap, it gets to go right there like it did before. Um, this gets to go right there like it did before. Well, kinda. And... And there we go! Bedroom, basically completely back. Looks good. Okay, got all my stuff back in the hot bar. So, yeah, this is looking pretty nice. I like my view out there. Looks looks kind of nice. Looks pretty. Now, we just need to get a lot of glass. So, uh, back to grabbing quartz. That is, unless we got something that's made of glass we don't actually need anymore, but I don't think we have anything like that. Okay. Back in here and off to quartz locations. I'll cut back once I have gotten enough quartz to make five glass. This is gonna take forever. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Okay, actually, we got all the quartz we need. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It was actually relatively easy. So, yeah, now we got all the quartz we need to be able to make another containment thing. And then we'll have more space for all of our cute little baby creatures. And I think I want to make the bioreactor, because I, I think the bioreactor is an interesting idea that we of something we could make. Oh, right, we need to actually make the, uh... The, the it all in the glass before all right um glass now we can make this um there it is let's uh, what what happened um okay there we go now we are making the second layer to it and it should completely connect as well so they should all be coming up here now yep they're all starting to come up here like more space more space yes yay oh that is adorable all of these little creatures that I have living in my base now look at them all they're all so glorious just look at from below in my bedroom as well they are it's so cool looking you actually even have a bone shark in there and uh Gasopod and one of those explodey things. Not to mention the peeper and Oculus and the other stuff as well. That's already kind of more natural and small. It's already naturally pretty small. But yeah, let's hope they don't eat each other. I don't think they actually do eat each other. But, you know, let's just be on the safe side, you know? So, what do I need for the bioreactor? I need lubricant and a wiring kit. That doesn't sound hard at all. Like, watch this. Two silver. Bam, bam. And wiring kit. There we go. Already got one of the steps done for bioreactor. Now, lubricant, I'm pretty sure it was just, yeah, it's just one creep vine cluster seed. Okay, we are basically done here. I can make the bioreactor. There we go. We got all the ingredients. Now, the question is where to put the bioreactor. Kind of was thinking up here. But, you know, we got the ladder in the way, kinda. Okay, I moved this stuff into the scanner room. I just kind of felt like it fit. Now, the question remains. Can I actually make a ladder w next to my locker? Yes, I can. Alright, now we can get rid of this thing. Oops, okay. Uh, ugh, controls. I am bad with controls today. Okay, so, now... Uh, jeez. Okay, now I think we shouldn't be. We are able to make the bioreactor. Let's make it. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna work and help improve the power of our base. Power source is a critical step towards self-sufficiency. Consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements to motivate you in times of despair. Seek fluid intake. Man, that is. This computer is just depressing, honestly. Like, I'm not sure if you guys realize it, but this computer is, like, absolutely depressing sometimes. I need more fluid, so I need another... I need some more, uh, bladder fish. Yeah, I need more bladder fish. There's some. Come here. Come here. Okay, there's one. There's two. Okay, that's some, that's some water. That's plenty of water. Now I need uh, creep vine stuff because 
that's actually what I use to power the bioreactor. So I feel if I put four uh, creep vine samples in there, that should be plenty to be able to make the bioreactor work super duper well. Let's go! Okay, now it's starting to mix and mix around the organic matter. And it is making more and more power. Awesome. So the bioreactor is working splendidly. So we are becoming much more self-sufficient, I feel. Now we don't actually need to be reliant on those solar panels. So if we overuse our power during the nighttime, it's no big deal. Not to mention a absolutely amazing place to put a bunch of pets. And upgrades for our stuff. Like the grappling arm. And actually, just looking at the other upgrades you can make, we can actually make a Seamoth Solar Charger. That sounds good. Yeah, Seamoth Solar and Solar Charger sounds super, super good. That that that'll be able to be used very nicely. And I think there's some things you can make out of this too. Yeah. Oh, yes, we can upgrade the uh, the depth module. We just need the original two magnesite, one plus steel ingot, and enamel glass. And what is that? <coughs> yeah, that one's a bit more tricky. And this one, mmm, mmm, yeah, that's more late game, I feel. Yeah, we're not getting that anytime soon. I actually just want to go out and see what the, uh, uh, what this looks like through the, through the glass. Okay, not the like best angle. Oh, wow, look at that, we can actually see them all, but outside of the entire base itself. That is awesome. Oh, you'd make a nice add on add in addition to the collection, little hoop fish. Yeah, I know, I mean, I'm capturing a bunch of innocent creatures. But this one, like, glows in the dark. That's cool. This, you know, another addition to the collection. Is it just me, or are the gasopod and bone shark getting big? Really hoping they don't get too big. I think there's a cap as to how big the fish can get while they're inside here, but... You know, this is getting to be more than a baby. The gasopod is like about a quarter of the size it's gonna be when it's fully grown, so... Yeah... There is one egg I really want to get, and that's actually the, uh, the jelly ray. That's one I really want to get the egg for. I might do that one off camera though because I've already been recording for a while but you know what's what's wrong with a long episode let's go all right so I think I know where the mushroom forest is it's in this direction somewhere and that's around where and that's actually where the uh, jelly ray things spawn and that's where I can know I can find some eggs for them is kind of around here. Not too close to the Aurora. We don't want to say hi to our old friend, the um, the Reaper Leviathan, but, you know, we do want to find the Mushroom Forest. I know it's relatively close to the Aurora. Somewhere around here. I remember I just stumbled across it once, accidentally, so I know it's not hard to find. But then again, I, I have heard of times where, I've actually had times where but you know those times when you try to find something? Like, you, there's something that you, like, you know the whereabouts of because you've just stumbled across it so randomly so many times. But then when you finally got out of your way to find it, you don't. Has that ever happened to you? But we found the mushroom forest, so it's all good. With the jelly rays, that thing right there is what I'm looking for the egg for. I've seen what I believe is their egg. So I should be able to find their Your eggs, right? That's it. That's another bone shark egg, because that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, like, a blue egg. Like that. That looks right. That's probably- that's gotta be it. That has got to be it. I think we're all done here. I don't think there's too much left to do in this particular biome anyway. At least not this one. The one that's over there, the one that we marked, that one I think has some more stuff we need to do. But... 
I think that's gonna be for a later episode. This episode's probably already a lot longer than it was intended to be. It's probably gonna take me forever to edit. So, I should probably just get home now. Okay, let's go. Get out, get off, get, let go, let go, mushroom, let go. Thank you. Man, I love this game. Okay, so let's drop this creature egg and hope it hatches into a ghost ray. I'm pretty sure this is a ghost ray egg, though. Actually, guys, I was just sitting here waiting for the egg to hatch so I could show you guys before I ended the episode. But I just found this. I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's titled Notes to Self. So this is something that we wrote. So I kind of want to read this to you. So here we go. So here we are, finally, in open space. We crossed the galaxy to install a phase gate to send ships to mine resources to build more expensive ships. To install fancier phase gates, are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? Okay guys, I've been waiting for you guys to be able to see this thing for so long. I'm not waiting any longer. I'm using console commands. Fast hatch. <gasps> there it is. There it is. See, it, it worked. Okay, let's go take a better look. Look! Oh, it's adorable. Oh, that is by far probably one of my favorites right there. This little guy right here. Right here. But I do love all of them, but this guy is gonna be one of my favorites just because, you know, he's so cool looking. Look at it! Look at it! Anyway, I, I just had to use the command. I'm sorry. I just, I, I've been wait. I was waiting there for probably a half an hour now. And it still hadn't hatched, so I just needed to use console commands because I wanted you to see it before the end of the episode. But now that it's hatched, I think I can end the episode here. For those of you guys who prefer my more exploration-themed episodes of Subnautica instead of my more casual episodes, I mean, casual episodes are still nice, so I know a lot of people are probably going to prefer to see the big exploration episodes. So for those of you who are interested in that, that'll probably be the next episode of Subnautica. Anyway, I just wanted to do a, like a Subnautica episode, but I figured like a more casual episode of Subnautica would be fine. And so far, I think this has been pretty fun. Pretty fun, small, casual, not too crazy. And we got some good stuff going, so... Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Subnautica. Please do leave a big fat thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, this happens to be the first video that you have seen by me, and please do consider subscribing to join Team TJ today for awesome gameplay videos and other amazing content like this. Again, apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Titan 826 out. Goodbye, guys!